Last yeah. time we did testing, you were pretty good on your strength and your power. Yeah. But this next little section is going to look at both those elements as well as the magic ingredient, endurance. Excellent. When you watch any game of sevens, the guys are machines. Yeah, they are, yeah. The Fijian back line, specifically Gatonabao, Vermalur up front, they do their rugby for all 14 minutes, 20 minutes in the final. Mm -hmm. You've got to make sure you have that strength, you have that power, but have the endurance as yeah. well. We speak a lot in sevens about power and strength, and one way of incorporating those two elements, which we tested with flats, was to look at how we can use those over a period of 20 minutes to incorporate both power and strength, but under fatigue, making sure that you're fitter for longer. First thing we're going to look at is yeah. a little bit of power endurance yeah. with body weight. So four different exercises, which we're going to do five times each, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Okay, fine. Got nice it. 20 easy. minutes. 20 minutes. Done. Job done. Yep. First one, burpee. We're going to go down, feet out, feet back, jump up. Go for it, yeah. Okay. Hard as you can. Four really simple exercises. Using your body weight doesn't need to be done anywhere other than a three meter squared area. Wow, even got a jump. Textbook, huh? Brilliant. Yeah. So 30 seconds of that. Yeah. 30 seconds off. That'll bite. For yep. five. Yeah. Next one we're going to look at yep. is going to be running on the spot, which sounds easy. No, it's not as easy as you think, mate. 30 not seconds, five times. No. OK, ready? Yep. So think about how this can improve your speed, your fitness, and even perhaps strength of your calves, of your hip flexors using your arms as real pistons. Really simple, but can be done anywhere at any time. Good, 30 That'll seconds bite. of that. That'll bite, yep. Next one we're gonna look at is on the floor. A way of working on strength is to do shoulder press. Yeah. So get in almost a press-up position, but put okay. your hands further high. Okay. And then it's a case of going up on your haunches a little bit, knees yep. up, and then nose in between your hands. Ooh, that's nasty. But this gets you stronger across your shoulders, your triceps, and also your biceps. Good. That's good. And last and final one. Again, working on strength, working on power yeah. and endurance. Yeah. Push-ups. Yeah. Not just any press-up. Three tiers to this. You go advanced and do the yeah. Spider-Man. Knees to elbow. Okay. There is no feeling in the world that represents how hard sevens can be in those last few seconds. The massive moment, the full length of the pitch run or the try saving track back tackle, you've got to make sure that you can deal with the pressure that your body is under, the stress that is amongst you when your muscles are screaming. No shame in a few Jane Fonders. Knees on the floor, still doing your press up. And believe me, by your fifth set, you may well need to do this. Oh yeah, they're the best ones. I'll tell you what, five times 30 seconds, there'll be a few Jane Fonders out there. No, no shame in it if David Flatman's doing it. Yeah, and I'm only on three pancakes a day, so... People who play sevens are some of the <laughs> fitest athletes in the world. Yeah, they are. They're much fitter than 15s, boys, to be fair. Yeah. One thing you can work on is the ability to be fit for longer. Yeah. To deal with the lactic acid that makes you feel like your legs are going to stop working. Yeah. Really simple session. You can do this on a bike or a treadmill. Five seconds on, yeah. 10 seconds on, Sounds 15 easy. seconds on, yeah. then 20 seconds on. That last 20 is going to be gruesome. You're only going to have five seconds off each time in oh. your rest period. Yep. But after that last set, you're going to get 20 seconds off before starting again. Oh, what a treat. Thanks very much. Okay, you're going to do that five times, Yeah. which will be seven and a half minutes, half a game of sevens. Yeah. So therefore, you're going to do the whole set twice. Okay, and a pancake sandwich at half time. Okay. Are you up for this? Oh, yeah, oh, big time. Can't tell. You're already sweating. Yeah, but I sweat sitting still. OK, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. You've got to make sure that you can deal with the pressure that your body is under, the stress that is amongst you when your muscles are screaming. One way of getting Flats better at that is to understand how he can improve his lactate threshold. That right. Each time you're going to be having lactic in your legs, it's going to be hard, but you've got to push through it. Ten seconds, let's go. <laughs> We put flats on a bike and tested his ability to maintain power and endurance over a period of 16 minutes. Difficult session with only five seconds rest each time that you have to work hard. Go on, keep it going now, sit flats, keep going. Got to deal with that lactic acid. You put people on the bike or on a treadmill, really simple session, not hard to understand, but over a period of time will improve your ability to perform for a full game. It's weird, I feel no guilt stood here watching. Oh, but you don't. You can join Flats on his journey to be Elite Sevens Fit at DHL Rugby on Facebook and Twitter.